In this video, we will delve into the intricate field of pharmacology, focusing specifically on drugs that impact gastrointestinal motility. We will explore the intricate mechanisms of action, therapeutic applications, and potential side effects of these medications. By the end, you will have gained a comprehensive understanding of this fascinating topic. The cholinergic system plays a crucial role in the regulation of various physiological processes in the human body. Acetylcholine, the primary neurotransmitter of the cholinergic system, acts on two types of receptors, nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. Nicotinic receptors are ligand-gated ion channels, while muscarinic receptors are G-protein-coupled receptors. Cholinergic drugs, such as cholinesterase inhibitors, are used to enhance cholinergic neurotransmission in conditions like Alzheimer's disease. These drugs inhibit the enzymatic breakdown of acetylcholine, leading to increased cholinergic activity. However, excessive cholinergic stimulation can lead to adverse effects like bradycardia, bronchoconstriction, and excessive salivation. The adrenergic system is controlled by norepinephrine and affects various body functions. Adrenergic drugs like alpha-1 blockers, beta blockers, and beta agonists modify this system by blocking smooth muscle contraction, reducing heart rate, and relaxing airway muscles to treat conditions like hypertension, angina, and asthma. Serotonin, a neurotransmitter primarily found in the gastrointestinal tract and the central nervous system, regulates various physiological processes, including mood, appetite, and gastrointestinal motility. Serotonin acts on multiple receptor subtypes, including 5-HT1 to 5-HT7 receptors. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, are commonly utilized in the treatment of depression and anxiety disorders. These drugs inhibit the reuptake of serotonin, leading to increased serotonin levels in synaptic clefts. However, SSRIs may cause side effects such as sexual dysfunction, nausea, and agitation due to their influence on serotoninergic pathways. Dopamine, an essential neurotransmitter, is involved in several physiological processes, including movement control, reward mechanisms, and hormonal regulation. Dopamine acts on five types of receptors, D1, D2, D3, D4, and D5 receptors. Agents that modulate dopamine levels are widely used in the treatment of various conditions. For example, dopaminergic medications like levodopa and dopamine agonists are used to manage Parkinson's disease by increasing dopamine levels in the brain. However, these medications can lead to side effects such as dyskinesia and psychiatric disturbances. Nitric oxide, NO, is a gas molecule that functions as a signaling molecule in several physiological processes. NO acts through the activation of guanylate cyclus and subsequent production of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP. Agents that enhance NO signaling, like nitrovacidilators, are used in the treatment of conditions such as angina and heart failure. These drugs promote vasodilation and improve blood flow to ischemic areas. However, excessive no signaling can lead to hypotension and headaches. Opioid receptors, including mu, kappa, and delta receptors, play a crucial role in pain modulation and reward pathways in the central nervous system. Opioid drugs, such as morphine and oxycodone, act on these receptors to alleviate pain but also have the potential for abuse and addiction. Opioid medications are used for pain management in conditions like postoperative pain and cancer-related pain. However, their side effects include respiratory depression, constipation, and sedation. The opioid crisis has highlighted the need for proper prescribing practices and the development of alternative pain management strategies. Prokinetic agents aim to improve gastrointestinal motility and coordination, making them useful in conditions like gastric stasis and gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD. These agents work by enhancing the release of acetylcholine and activating 5-HT4 receptors. Metoclopramide and domperidone are examples of prokinetic agents. They enhance gastrointestinal motility by antagonizing dopamine receptors and stimulating 5-HT4 receptors. However, these drugs have the potential to cause extrapyramidal side effects and cardiac arrhythmias. Antiemetic medications are used to alleviate nausea and vomiting, commonly associated with chemotherapy, motion sickness, and postoperative recovery. These drugs act on various receptors, including dopamine, serotonin, histamine, and acetylcholine receptors. Ondansetron, a selective 5-HT3 receptor antagonist, is widely used in chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Other antiemetic medications, such as diamond hydronate and prochlorperazine, target different receptor systems like histamine and dopamine. Side effects may include sedation, dry mouth, and movement disorders. Antidiarrheal agents are used to manage acute and chronic diarrhea. 
These drugs work by either slowing down gastrointestinal transit or reducing fluid and electrolyte secretion in the gut. Loperamide, an opioid receptor agonist, is commonly used for the symptomatic relief of diarrhea. It acts on mu opioid receptors in the gastrointestinal tract to decrease peristalsis and increase stool consistency. However, excessive use of loperamide can lead to constipation and potential abuse. Spasmolytic agents are used to alleviate smooth muscle spasms and cramps in the gastrointestinal tract, urinary system, and other areas of the body. These drugs exert their effects by inhibiting calcium influx and promoting smooth muscle relaxation. Dicyclamine, a muscarinic receptor antagonist, is commonly prescribed for conditions like irritable bowel syndrome. It reduces gastrointestinal motility and relieves abdominal pain. However, it can cause adverse effects like dry mouth, blurred vision, and urine retention. Peptide hormones, including insulin, glucagon, and growth hormone, play a vital role in various physiological processes such as glucose regulation, metabolism, and growth. These hormones act on specific receptors, triggering complex intracellular signaling cascades. Insulin, for example, regulates glucose uptake and metabolism, making it a cornerstone in diabetes management. Growth hormone stimulates tissue growth and development. Imbalances in peptide hormone levels can lead to disorders like diabetes, acromegaly, and hypopituitarism. Herbal remedies have been used for centuries to manage various ailments and promote overall well-being. These remedies can influence physiological processes through their active constituents, which may mimic the effects of endogenous signaling molecules. Popular herbal remedies include St. John's wort for depression, ginkgo biloba for cognitive function, and ginger for nausea relief. It is essential to consider potential herb drug interactions and variations in product quality and potency when using herbal remedies. In conclusion, our exploration of drugs affecting gastrointestinal motility highlighted important topics such as cholinergic and adrenergic regulation, serotoninergic control, and opioid receptor effects. Understanding these mechanisms and their therapeutic applications is vital for healthcare professionals to optimize patient care.